Hello YouTube world and welcome to this place of rest in this spooky cemetery on Halloween. Get out and show you around how creepy this place is. This is a cemetery in my hometown here. Well, it's not actually my hometown, but it's where I live in Beaver Falls. And this cemetery is supposedly haunted by a girl who walks here at night in a 19th century dress, some kind of dark black color, I guess, so they claim. And she supposedly died at a very young age. And nobody knows what circumstances she died under. But as you can see, I'm trying to slow down for you. It's a really old cemetery, and there's some spooky graves. It's really old. Some of these graves go back to the 1900s. So please bear with me as I attempt to film this while I'm walking. This is my first video that I've ever done for YouTube. So any comments you'd like to make, any tips you have for me on how to make videos, cameras and equipment and so forth, I'd really appreciate any feedback I can get. Because I'm really new to this and I'd like to upload videos for you guys all the time. And I figured since it's Halloween, this would be a most appropriate time to start a vlog. I've had a YouTube channel for quite some time, but this is the first official video that I will upload. Look how creepy that is. Let's go down here and check things out. I apologize again for the shaking. It's a bit windy out today too, which is most appropriate. <laughs> My name is Mark. I am a novelist, poet, short story writer, and vlogger in that order. Like I said, the name of this town is Beaver Falls. It's about you know, 35 miles north of Pittsburgh. And there are a lot of good urban legends that come out of this county, which is called Beaver. We live in Beaver County. And I'm going to share a lot of these urban legends and myths with you guys. And I think you'll find them quite interesting. Look how spooky that looks back there. There are a lot of children buried in this cemetery. I don't know if I mentioned that, but there's all kinds of old graves here. Some of them you can't even read. Let's see if I can zoom in on some of them. Yeah. Here's a grave of a small child, I think. I mean, seriously, what better day to come here than Halloween? I could wait until dark or sunset, but I don't think they would allow me in here after dark. This place is kept under a pretty watchful eye by the police for obvious reasons. You know, they don't want vandals coming in here. like something right out of the Night of the Living Dead, don't you think? Look how creepy that tree is. They're coming to get you, Barbara. <laughs> well, not exactly. That cemetery's not far from here either. It's about 35, 40 miles up the road where Night of the Living Dead was filmed. But this could be considered its cousin, I'll tell you. It's one of the older cemeteries in Beaver County. I'm not too familiar with its history. It is a, I believe, a Catholic burial ground, but it appears that there are some Protestants buried here just by the markers. Like I said, there are a lot of kids. It's really creepy. See if we can get up close to some of these. Maybe show you some names. That's 
really creepy. 1926. These are really old graves. There's one right in front of me here. Somebody left some flowers. The name is Crumbly. You can't even make out who it is. It's not even legible at this point. There's one here. There's some woods back there. Like I said, it's really creepy here. It's very old. Very old cemetery. It does have some interesting markers, though. And some of these aren't even... They have photographs placed on the stones, but I can't make out who they are. Of course I'd have to really walk up there and I don't want to do that. Look at those woods. They're so creepy, especially with the stones. The little graves. ones here. I do hope this comes out well. Some houses there too. Imagine living near a cemetery. That would really freak me out. So like I said guys, every couple of days or so I'd like to some videos. I hope you guys watch them, comment on them. Let me know what I can do to improve these sound wise, quality wise, picture quality wise. But again, as I said earlier, when I started this, this cemetery is supposedly haunted. By a young girl who walks the road right up there. They say you can see her late at night, just wandering around. She wears a dark dress, dark hair, pale, ghostly white skin. And if I remember correctly, I want to show you guys a particular grave, because it's rather interesting. There's like a ghostly image on it. And I'm hoping I can show that to you. I'm hoping I can get it up on the camera. There it is. Here it is right here. Here's a grave of a young girl that died. I don't know if you can read it. 20 years old, I think. And just look at her image. You can barely make her out. Is that spooky or what? I've never seen an image like that. It's been decaying over time, but it's really strange. Quite creepy.
the name of the cemetery is St. John the Baptist Catholic Cemetery, I believe. I could be wrong. I didn't see a name when I drove up on it. Let's go up to the hill here. I want to show you this cross that sits up on top of the hill. If I can zoom in on it, look at that. Isn't that amazing? Just look at that. Look how big that is. We'll go to the top of the hill here. there looks like vandals got a hold of it I hope you guys can hear me because like I said it's a bit windy today but this is a typical old cemetery in southwestern Pennsylvania we have a lot of them like this let me see if I can get the front of that Pretty impressive architecture for the time. And look at this. There's a door and steps that go down into it. Isn't that amazing? Here's the rest of it over here. And there's cars going by. be it. Thanks for watching guys and I will be posting more videos. I hope you enjoy them and I hope you leave some comments and feedback and suggestions for me. See ya.